The United Engine Corporation achieved a notable milestone in the certification process of Russia's PD-8 turbofan engine by successfully conducting a controlled fan blade failure test for the first time. The company released a video documenting the event. The test was carried out at the UEC Saturn testing facility in the city of Rabinsk and verified the engine's ability to withstand one of the most severe mechanical failures that can occur during flight. This successful outcome moves the PD-8 significantly closer to obtaining type certification and entering operational service. Fan blade failure testing is among the most demanding and essential requirements in the certification of civil aviation engines. Successful completion demonstrates that an engine's structural design, materials, and safety philosophy comply with stringent international airworthiness standards. In the case of the PD-8, the test confirmed that even under conditions of severe internal damage, the engine preserves its structural integrity and does not pose an unacceptable risk to the aircraft or its occupants. Modern turbofan engines operate at extremely high rotational speeds, which subject fan blades to enormous centrifugal forces. If a single blade fails, fragments can be released with very high kinetic energy. Should such fragments penetrate the engine casing, they could damage the aircraft fuselage, fuel systems, control cables, or other critical structures, potentially leading to catastrophic consequences. Because of this risk, aviation regulations require engine manufacturers to prove that an engine can safely contain blade fragments in the event of a failure. In simple terms, the engine casing must be strong enough to keep all fragments inside the engine structure. Even in the worst conceivable scenario, the aircraft must remain controllable and the flight crew must be able to perform a safe landing. The successful containment of fan blade fragments during the PD-8 test confirms that its design solutions meet this essential safety requirement. This test is not a mere formality, it is a cornerstone of the engine's certification basis and a decisive step toward approval for commercial operations. The test took place at the open test facility of UEC Saturn in Rybinsk, a site specifically designed for conducting complex and high-risk engineering trials. Before the test began, extensive preparatory work was completed to reproduce real-world operating conditions as accurately as possible. A pyrotechnic charge was installed inside one of the engine's fan blades. This method ensures a precisely timed and fully controlled blade failure while the engine is running at a predetermined power setting. After installation, the PD-8 was started, warmed up, and gradually brought to takeoff thrust, which represents one of the most demanding operating modes for any turbofan engine. At the command of the test team, an electrical signal triggered the explosive device. The fan blade was instantly destroyed, producing high-energy debris inside the rotating assembly. Crucially, none of the fragments penetrated the engine casing. The containment system performed exactly as designed, proving that the PD-8 can safely absorb and manage such an extreme internal event. According to Alexei Veritenikov, Deputy General Designer for Testing at UEC Saturn, the primary success criterion was the preservation of the fan casing's integrity. This requirement was fully met and the retention of all blade fragments was conclusively confirmed. The fan casing's ability to withstand the impact of blade fragments results from careful structural design, the use of advanced materials, and precise manufacturing techniques. The containment system must balance conflicting demands, being strong enough to stop high-energy debris while remaining light enough to preserve engine efficiency and overall aircraft performance. Veritenikov emphasized that this successful test once again demonstrated the PD-8's reliability under critical conditions. From a certification perspective, blade fragment containment is one of the most closely scrutinized parameters and its confirmation significantly strengthens the engine's certification case. The blade failure test was conducted only after the installation of specialized monitoring and measurement equipment at the test site. These systems included a current collector, a phasing system, 
and an air sampling system, each designed to gather precise data during and after the test. The air sampling system played a particularly important safety role. Its purpose was to confirm that in a real blade failure scenario, oil vapor entering the aircraft's air conditioning system would remain within permissible limits. Although often overlooked by the public, this factor is critical for passenger safety and cabin air quality following an engine failure. The successful operation of these monitoring systems further demonstrates the PD-8's compliance with comprehensive safety requirements that extend beyond purely mechanical containment. The fan blade failure test represents only one component of a broad and demanding test campaign for the PD-8 engine. The engine continues to undergo an extensive program of bench and flight tests aimed at validating its design solutions and confirming compliance with technical specifications. Among these evaluations were water ingestion tests, which confirmed the engine's ability to operate reliably during intense rainfall. These tests simulate extreme precipitation conditions that can occur during takeoff or landing in adverse weather. The PD-8 has also successfully completed acoustic testing, demonstrating that its noise levels meet regulatory limits. Crosswind performance tests verified stable operation under asymmetric airflow, while thrust reverser tests confirmed proper functioning during landing and rejected takeoff scenarios. Notably, all major tests were conducted at thrust levels exceeding 8,000 kilograms of force, equivalent to roughly 78,000 newtons of thrust. This demonstrates reliable engine performance at and beyond its intended operating range. The PD-8 bypass turbofan engine has been developed entirely using modern technologies and the latest domestically produced materials at the UEC Saturn facility in Rabinsk. This emphasis on domestic production reflects a broader strategic objective of achieving technological independence in Russia's civil aviation sector. With a thrust rating in the 8-ton class, meaning approximately 8 metric tons of thrust, the PD-8 is designed specifically for short-range passenger aircraft. It is intended to power the Superjet 100 regional jet and the B-200 amphibious aircraft, both of which require a balance of efficiency, reliability, and robust performance across diverse operating environments. The PD-8 program builds upon experience gained from earlier engine projects while incorporating modern digital design methods advanced simulation tools, and contemporary materials engineering techniques. For the Superjet 100, the PD-8 represents a critical step toward greater operational independence and long-term sustainability. A domestically produced engine reduces reliance on foreign suppliers and simplifies maintenance, logistics, and life cycle support. For the B-200 amphibious aircraft, engine reliability is especially vital. Operating over water and frequently engaged in firefighting missions, the aircraft requires engines capable of withstanding water exposure, variable airflow, and demanding mission profiles. The successful water ingestion and blade containment tests directly support these operational needs. For the first time, the United Engine Corporation has released public video footage of a fan blade failure test. This rare level of transparency offers insight into one of the most dramatic and technically challenging stages of engine certification. It also reflects confidence in the PD-8 program and highlights the precision involved in modern aircraft engine engineering. The video features commentary and participation from key specialists involved in the testing process, including Alexei Veritenikov and Olga Pervova, head of the Technology Bureau at the UEC Saturn Test Facility. Their involvement illustrates the coordinated effort required to bring a new aircraft engine from initial design to certified reality. The successful fan blade failure test marks a major step forward in the PD-8's path to certification. Although further tests and regulatory reviews remain, the confirmed containment of blade fragments removes one of the most critical technical hurdles in the approval process. By proving its resilience under extreme and potentially catastrophic conditions, 
the PD-8 strengthens confidence in its engineering and design philosophy. As testing continues, each completed milestone brings the engine closer to operational deployment and reinforces its role in the future of Russia's civil aviation fleet. In the aerospace industry, where safety margins are measured in millimeters and milliseconds, the PD-8's performance during this test stands as a clear demonstration of the maturity, robustness, and resilience of its design. The task of this test is to prove that in the case of a similar situation in flight, there will be no damage to the glider. That is, it will not fall into the fuselage. An explosive device is placed on the bottom of the blade, which has already been specially prepared for blasting. At a fairly high mode, that is usually this is the takeoff mode of the engine. An electrical signal initiates, transitioning into the explosion mode. The tests were successfully completed, providing confirmation. Reliability has been thoroughly verified and confirmed. One of the main points of the certification basis in terms of retention of the blade and fan. When a break is completed, that is one more step on a fairly serious step, became closer to obtaining a type certificate for the engine under. If you like the video, please subscribe, share and like. Also, please take the memberships to encourage us.